My name is Natalie Hart and I work with the One Ocean Flotilla. I'm here to talk about the Drop the S campaign, an initiative funded by the UK branch of the Kaluska Blenkin Foundation. The Drop the S campaign encourages people to talk about the ocean in singular, not plural, because there is only one interconnected global ocean. The challenge that our project seeks to address is a lack of consistency and alignment in the global ocean communications. While ocean literacy is widely considered to be vital as a step in encouraging people to live and act more sustainably, as an ocean community, we sometimes overlook the basic ocean literacy principles ourselves. So why do we say drop the S? Principle one of ocean literacy is that the earth has one big ocean with many features. Words are important and the way that we communicate influences the way that people think, feel and act. Talking about the ocean reinforces the notion of connectedness. It solidifies people's understanding that what happens in one part of the ocean will affect other parts too. And it reminds people that the ocean is part of one global system. What goes on in the ocean affects all of us and our language needs to reflect this. The Drop the S campaign started in 2019. It's a straightforward campaign launched with an animation and a Drop the S hashtag. The animation is lighthearted and fun to encourage engagement and bonding with target audiences. In 2020, we released a second version of the animation to reflect life in the pandemic and the new way that we were all connected through Zoom. In the two week period around World Ocean Day, when the second animation was launched, the Drop the S hashtag was used around 800 times and gained a considerable 6 million impressions. In the press, Forbes wrote an article on our campaign asking, is it ocean or oceans? At the virtual ocean dialogues hosted by the World Economic Forum and Friends of Ocean Action, dropping the S was referenced in the opening speech. And IOC UNESCO had a social media day dedicated to dropping the S. What is even more encouraging for us is to see the phrase snowball and be used beyond our immediate network. People have adopted dropping the S into their own campaigns and content, and we're seeing increased use of the One Ocean global map popping up all over the ocean world. Of course, Global Ocean Envoy Peter Thompson also continues to champion the use of the word ocean in singular in many of his engagements. It's a simple ask and a straightforward campaign, but it is a gateway to much wider and deeper ocean-friendly behaviour. Please do drop the S, because accuracy is an act of ocean protection, and by protecting the ocean, we protect ourselves.